This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review and today... Yeah, I bought something from Amazon. It was on special and I haven't even opened it yet. And I'm not a big fan of Monopoly as a rule. It's not the most entertaining game, but my wife does like to play it once in a while. So I figured this version might entice me to play a little more. And uh, it looks decent enough. I've noticed a couple uh, differences from a regular board other than basically the skin. Um, so I'm gonna try to, I, I do have a Monopoly board, so I might compare the uh, just the actual board. I uh, just, I don't know why I'm reviewing this. I'm bored, I guess, and I just wanna do something different, so. And it comes with like six uh, figurines, which are, of course, Optimus, Bumblebee, Grimlock, Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave. You know, nothing new about that. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to uh, opening it up, checking the artwork mainly, and uh, we'll see uh, what happens. But before I go on with the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice hacking playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out the interview playlist, it's uh, worth the watch. And don't forget to wait until the end of the video to get your 10% discount code at DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And now let's roll the intro. As you can see, I'm using a little bit of a, a different uh, setup because it, it doesn't work well with the other, uh, you know, my usual stuff. So let's open this up. So you have the beautiful artwork, uh, Bumblebee, you know, so this tells me the, that this is the evergreen design. Uh, so it's not G1. I mean, there's it's G1-ish. Star scheme looks a little more cyberverse-y. Um, the Grimlocks look, you know, G1 head sculpt. So. I guess it's, uh, yeah, the evergreen design. What do we have? All right, so you have oh, the mini figurines, of course, and that thick, thick, thick plastic. So let's start with those. Why not? So you have Optimus Prime, fairly uh, detailed, you know, it's really good. Comes with the axe and not the uh, the rifle. Then you have this is uh, this is Bumblebee. Kind of looks like Prowl more than anything. Uh, it, nothing is painted. It's all s classic silver piece from. You know, Monopoly, every version you have, like that. And then you have, where is he? I guess this one's Grimlock. Yeah, there you go. This one's Grimlock because he has those little marks for the uh, T-Rex for arms. So they're very reflective, of course. Hopefully the camera's gonna pick up the details. Nice, Pretty good. Then you have Megatron with the fusion cannon right here really good you have the star scream his wings spread out I mean I don't know if you get well you probably can't I mean the face sculpt you know on the pieces is not that nice and then you have the most classic of the Seticon sound wave it's really good and then you have this other bag which of course will contain Dices, and then you have okay. Basically, instead of houses, you have inner John cubes, and then instead of hotels, you have like energon power storage, you know, a power station or something. So, there's that. Let's put this aside, I'll keep the board for last. All right, cool. So you have all the cards. Basically, uh, every uh, city from Monopoly, not city, but every place is in the Monopoly board, uh, is uh, now replaced with 
you know, moon base one and the sea of rust rocket base, you know, it's all the different stuff. And then uh, it says on the back, you know, uh, power. I think my camera's having a hard time focusing on this stuff. So power drain value. Oh, okay, so instead of uh, being, uh, you know, pay millions, you have to pay, you, you're being uh, drained of power by 30 million and then to restore power pay 33 millions i don't know if it's gonna be millions but so yeah it's pretty much the same thing as the monopoly board it's you know just different rules a uh, different uh a different skin uh and then instead of the trains you have the autobot city space bridge megatron space bridge i didn't know he had one icon city space bridge and I guess I'm missing one. Uh, yeah, Shockwave Space Bridge. Like a nice uh, G1, uh, you know, picture of the Space Bridge. So that's good enough. You have two Titans, Metroplex and Trypticons. So I don't know what they replaced. Maybe they replaced the utilities. Um, and then you have two faction cards, two set of faction cards. You have the Decepticons and the Autobots. And, uh, oh, basically if you are, there's kind of, kind of uh, sorry, it's reflective, but there's kind of little stories. Optimus Prime grudgingly activates a space bridge with, which brings Cybertron into Earth's orbit. Or Starscream, if you're a Decepticon, he takes command after Megatron falls, which is classic, into his own space bridge and disappears. So, and then it tells you advance to the next space bridge. If on own, you may buy it. You know, so it's the it's just a reimagining of every you know go to jail card and everything. So that's neat. And these are, I guess, the chances card. Advance to Icon City. Advance to Starwave Lab. Same thing, you have a little uh, description if you're playing an Autobot or if you're playing a Decepticon, it's a different uh, a different text and then you have the uh, action at the bottom. But that's pretty neat. And now the board. And the board is, me and my friends were theorized. Oh, well there's the money, which is Monopoly Transformers with, you know, I'm not gonna go through all of that. I'm gonna move this, you have the rules. I don't know if there's any different rules. I don't think so. But here is the board. And the first thing that you might notice is that for every every uh, section, basically the uh, there's only two, uh, two um, I don't know, place to purchase by color, when, uh, where in classic Monopoly, there's three. So I don't know. Oh, not the dice. So hold on, let me. And that's why I got over here the classic Monopoly board. I want to confirm my theory. Yeah, the classic Monopoly board. Is actually bigger this the spaces that's that was my friend Vince who mentioned that the spaces are about the same size but there's less so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven so you're missing two spaces which equivalates to equivalent that's not a word no um, I just did a stupid bad translation. You have two less space, which uh, gives you the extra color that you had on each side. So that's it. All right, we're done with that. This is probably gonna be the worst review ever. Uh, let me, well, you know what? The, the, my setup's pretty bad. I'm gonna take my camera and do a handheld review of what you can find on the board. And it's gonna be terrible, and I apologize in advance. All right, sorry about that. So basically, you have the whole setup. 
So basically this uh, is the chance card and this is the community chest, which were classic to the uh, original game. One thing I don't get is that they kept the four corners. Go, the prison, parking, the go to jail. They kept the original one, although with a different uh, color. It's kind of weird, but you know, we'll go with it. So what you have is moon base one, you have the uh, junk yon, you know, pay two millions, I guess, 200 millions. Sea of Rust, the space brick, rocket base. You draw a card. Antimatter lab. Oh, that's from G1, though. I remember. Okay, that's cool. Then let's flip this. Uh, Springfield City. Ah, Metroplex. So I guess, yeah, it does replace the utilities. You have electricity and plumbing, I think. So now you have Metroplex, you have the Sherman Dam, that's pretty cool. So it's evergreen design for the characters, but it's very G1. I guess it's a mix of everything. Space Rib, Moon Base 2, the movie. Priatorus Wharf. That doesn't ring a bell. Maybe it's from another show. It's in Ice. You have Pro TX. I don't know what that is either. Crystal City. You know what that is. Solar power station, that could be anything, but Ancient Runes, that's from G1 for sure. I guess it's mostly G1 with a couple of other things. Then you have Autobot City from the movie, Decepticon Base, k -On, and the capital, Iacon. Really cool set. Alright, let me flip that back. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just a quick... Uh, it's not even a review, I'm just showing stuff up. I'm not gonna do a fake game and show you uh, how the game is played. But I do like the look of this uh, this game. The artwork is nice, the figures are, you know, pretty cool. Uh, you know, it, of course, I would have preferred, I don't know, Sunstreaker. Doesn't matter, it's uh, pretty cool. I'm happy to, uh, I'm happy with this purchase. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.